ResuFloor utilizes a comprehensive set of modeling tools for the simple creation of multi-story buildings with the added feature of integration with Risa 3 d for lateral analysis. ResuFloor now features the ability to model, design, and analyze columns integrated into walls. So I have an existing multi-story building here so normally we would just have our gravity beam framing into this lateral wall and we wouldn't be able to insert an integrated column, but now we can. So if I go to my edit tools up here and I'm going to choose column, I'm going to add in a wood column and I'm going to choose my properties here and then choose lateral and then I'm going to click apply. I now can insert a column embedded into my lateral wall as you see here. If I go now to my column spreadsheet, I'm going to edit the splice and splice location, and I'm going to show you this column now in the full model 3D view. So you can see that all three of my columns are actually integrated and modeled inside of these masonry walls. I'm going to solve this model to get ready to now director or integrate it over into Risa 3D. Now here in Risa 3D, you can see that Risa Floor has brought in all of my lateral elements. I'm also going to turn on some of my graphic tools, including the node labels so that we can look at those reactions later. And then I'm also going to turn on my member labels so that we can differentiate between our floor members and then also the members that I have drawn in here in Risa 3D. So I'm actually gonna open up our member spreadsheet here on the right hand side in Risa 3D and I'm going to dock this spreadsheet here on the right hand side so that I can compare my member spreadsheet and also view my graphical view on the left hand side. So here in my members spreadsheet, you can see here I have primary and it lists my members here, but I really wanna to go to this advanced tab. So here in my advanced tab is the new feature, the column wall vertical release. So here is where I can check or uncheck to vertically release my column from the wall that is embedded into. So here you can see I have my grayed out Risa Floor members that were integrated. The Risa Floor members are actually the only members that can have this vertical release feature turned on and off. If you see above, I have my other black members that represent members that were modeled in Risa 3D, they actually do not have this feature. So if you want to be able to use the column and wall and release or unrelease your vertical columns, they'll need to come from Risa floor integration. So in this example, I'm actually going to release one side of my vertical columns here in Risa 3D. So that way, when we do the solution analysis, you'll be able to see the difference in the analysis between my results from a column that is designed integrated into the wall versus it being released from that wall. So I'm going to check those here, and then I'm going to solve the solution. So I've gone ahead and solved my solution, and I'm going to close out my member spreadsheet, and I'm going to zoom in here on my 3D graphical view. I'm going to turn on my reactions and specifically I'm going to look at the Y direction. And so now you can see my Y direction reactions along my wall panels and also at the base of my columns. Opening up my node reaction spreadsheets, I'm going to dock this on the right hand side so that we can look at the load combination and then also look at how these reactions compare to what we see in our 3D graphical view. So over here we see that I actually want to look at specifically this load combination here so I can compare the results. I'm going to close out my node reaction spreadsheet so that I can switch over to that load combination I want to see, which is going to be load combination 3. So for load combination 3, I'm going to open back up that node reaction spreadsheet, dock it on the right hand side, and again, we're looking at the column that was not vertically released. And so here you can see the node reaction of 97 kips actually matches the node reaction that we see in our Y 
node reaction spreadsheet. But if we come over to the other side of our building, we see now we're looking at the column that was vertically released from the wall, and we have multiple reactions shown here. We have the reactions along the wall, but we can also see that that base column reaction is different from our column that we just saw before, and it's a lot higher because it has been vertically released from the rest of our wall. Using the node reaction spreadsheets and using the node reactions in our graphical view, that's one way to examine how the design analysis of our new feature columns and walls is behaving for your structure. Another way is to look at the wall panel forces. So I'm going to turn off the node reactions in the graphical view and then I'm going to turn on my wall panel force contour diagrams for the graphical view so that we can also see the difference between our released versus non-released columns. So I'm going to turn on the FY and that's going to show our wall panel plane Y forces and kips per feet. So here you can see the difference in the contours between my released column and then if I swivel over here you can also see the reactions now on my unreleased column. You can see how those reactions are being integrated into the wall panel. At this point We've completed the design and analysis of columns and walls for the RISA Floor RISA 3D integration. For more information on this new tool or for information on other topics, please visit our website, risa.com.